Shalom family, welcome. Hope everybody's having a good day today. As you can see, we're looking at a map of uh, East Africa. We're looking at uh, Ethiopia, the various rivers around it. We have the Red Sea above it as well. But I have a scripture I'd like to share with you, friends. It's a scripture that's been uh, discussed many times. Uh, different videos have been out about it. And uh, the meaning and significance of this scripture. And uh, the one I'm referring to is in Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 10. Let's take a look at it real quick. Okay. So there's verse 10 there. I'll let you, friends, look at that. Read that for a quick minute. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 10. You can get your version of the Bible out as well, your, your copy or particular translation that you like, and read along with that. I'll let you read that, and then we'll go back to the map. Verse 10 there. Talking about Ethiopia there in verse 10. All right. All right, let's go back to the map, and let's see if we can understand this. So as you recall, friends, the scripture said, from the region of the rivers of Ethiopia, the ones entreating me, namely the daughter of my scattered ones, will bring a gift to me. Okay? Now we know in the King James, other translations might read a little bit differently. Maybe yours might read a little bit different. King James, I believe it says, from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Um, the particular version I'm reading from is the New World Translation. It says, from the region of the rivers of Ethiopia. Either way, the main point is, it talks about the ones entreating me, namely the daughter of my scattered ones. Okay, so we know that the scattered ones are talking about the 12 tribes of Israel, how they were scattered about um, because of their uh, disobedience. Really, let's just, be, let's just be honest. But they were scattered about to the four winds of the earth, four corners of the earth. And so it mentions the daughter of my scattered ones. When you think of a daughter, you think of a family, don't you? That a daughter has been born from a union between a, a man and a woman. So notice it says, from the region of the rivers of Ethiopia, and then it says, the daughter of my scattered one. So it's talking about the same thing. And oftentimes the Bible verses do that, especially in the Hebrew scriptures. The first part of the verse will name a particular subject or person, and then the second half of the verse refers to the same thing, but gives it a, a synonym or a different uh, description of the same subject. So in this case, as we see there in verse 10, it says Ethiopia, the first part of the verse, and then the second part of, this, of the verse, it says the daughter of my scattered ones. So Ethiopia is the daughter of my scattered ones. It says they will bring a gift to me. Ethiopia will bring a gift to me, to the Most High. So we see how this scripture totally shows how, and of course we know at this time it was called Cush. It wasn't called Ethiopia as we call it today. It was called Cush. From the region of the rivers of Cush, the daughter of my scattered ones will bring a gift to me. So we see that uh, the scattered ones down into East Africa, down into Cush, or as we call Ethiopia, and even scattered more, they were connected to the 12 tribes of Israel. So this is just something that I appreciate more and more. And as you have heard, I have a book that's coming out very soon. I'm hoping it's coming out next week. They, they finally got the cover done, and now it's just being um, formatted right now. It's being processed, so I'm hoping it will be available next week. But I'll show you a copy of the uh, cover here. But in the book, it's going to be going into the scriptural proofs in the Hebrew scriptures and in the Greek scriptures showing that the proof uh, that there were black Israelites connected to the original 12 tribes of Israel and that they were scattered. So now let's reason on this point. Zephaniah the scripture said that uh, they would be scattered. So these scattered ones 
What if those scattered ones in the region of the rivers of Ethiopia were scattered further beyond as a result of being transported by means of slave ships? Wouldn't they still be considered the daughter of my scattered ones, no matter where they were scattered to? And if we look further past Ethiopia, we see the, the rivers here. Here's the, uh, the Blue Nile. Here's the White Nile. They converge together, and the White Nile goes all the way out toward the Mediterranean. But if we pan over to the left, we have the Republic of the Congo. We have even Angola down here. Here's another map. Let me show you. Here's uh, the Congo area here. Here's Angola here. This is uh, taken from uh, page 94 of my book, 1619, 20 Africans. So we see that, uh, that these ones were scattered right to the coast of Virginia and North Carolina. So friends, this is uh, the cover of my book. It will be coming out soon. So please get a copy of it. I'll let you know when it's available.